Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be covering ways to fix keyboard problems if your keyboard is not working in Windows 10. Hopefully, by the end of the video, we'll have figured out the problem causing your keyboard to not work correctly. If you haven't already, it may be worth restarting your PC. Feel free to do this now and return to the video, or do it towards the end. It's also worth noting that some of these solutions will be for separate keyboards. If you're using a laptop with a keyboard, then you'll be able to skip some of the fixes. The first thing I'll show you is how to get the on-screen keyboard, so you can type temporarily whilst we check some of these solutions. It will allow you to type without the need for your keyboard by using your mouse. To get it, right click on the taskbar at the bottom and select the show touch keyboard button. You can then click on the keyboard icon that's now within the taskbar to bring it up. With that sorted, we'll move on to the first solution. Try using another port on your PC to see if it's the port or a compatibility issue. For example, if it's a USB keyboard, then try a port in a different place, such as on the front or back. If your keyboard is wireless, you can also try another port with the receiver. You'll also need to ensure that you are within range of the receiver and that the batteries have not run out. If it still doesn't work, we'll move on. The next thing to try will be to use your keyboard on another device if possible. If you don't have another PC to check it on, then don't worry, but if you can, it is worth seeing if the problem is with your actual keyboard. The next possible solution will be to uninstall the device in the device manager. To do this, first search for device manager in the search bar. You will now need to find your keyboard from the list of devices. It might be called keyboard or the brand name. Right click on it and select uninstall. Then plug your keyboard back into your PC and it should set it up again. You may also need to restart your PC for it to set up, so feel free to do that now or at the end of the video. If that didn't work, we'll try updating or rolling back your device drivers. To do this, you will need to go back to the device manager and again right click on your keyboard. This time though, select properties and then click on the driver tab. Select update drivers and then choose the automatic option and allow Windows to search for you. If it didn't find anything, you can try looking online for updated drivers by using the make and model of your keyboard. You can then update your drivers manually from here. If the issue has only just appeared after a recent driver update, then you can try selecting rollback drivers from the driver tab. Next, we'll try troubleshooting to see if Windows can detect any problems with your keyboard. To do this, search for troubleshoot in the search bar and click on troubleshoot settings. When the window opens, scroll down until you find keyboard and select it. Then click on run the troubleshooter. Windows will now check for problems and suggest fixes if there are any. We're now going to try checking the keyboard settings as it's been known for one of these to cause problems with your keyboard. To do this, you need to go to the ease of access center. You can get here by firstly going to settings, which is accessible from the start menu, and then by clicking ease of access. Choose the keyboard option from those on the left panel in the interaction section. In these settings, make sure that filter keys is turned off. If it's already off, you won't need to do anything. If a recent Windows update is the cause, you can uninstall that update, but note you only need to try this if you know a recent update caused the keyboard to stop working. To uninstall a Windows update, go to the control panel, then programs, and then select view installed updates. Find the update that caused the problem from this list and right click on it and select uninstall. If all the solutions still haven't worked, I would recommend searching for your specific make and model of keyboard to see if others have had a similar issue or if it's a general problem. You can also think about any recent software or hardware changes that have caused the issue to appear and revert to how it was before. So this might mean uninstalling certain software or removing hardware. You could try starting your PC in safe mode to check for other compatibility issues. I'll link a video in the description showing you how to do that. If your keyboard works in safe mode, it's likely that there's some software somewhere causing the problem, but this is unlikely. There could also be compatibility issues with other peripheral devices, so try only plugging in your keyboard to see if it works then. Unfortunately, if at this stage you're still without a solution, it's more likely that your keyboard is faulty, but unless you try it with another device, you can't be 100% certain. Contact the manufacturer if it's still under warranty to find out your options. As always with my videos, feel free to post in the comments if you have any other suggestions, or if you find a fix in the future, 
it would be great if you could return to this video to share it with others. I will also keep the description updated with any other solutions I find, so check in there too. Hopefully I was able to help fix the problems you're having, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.